Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Leading Stars ECCE program brought to you by the Ministry of Education. I am Uncle Matthew and I will help you to get ready for the day. I hope that you had a good breakfast and that you're ready to get started. Now, we have our circle time. We start our day with the national anthem. So, feet together, hands at your side, stand tall, and here we go. Three, four. Very good. Now we're going to say the national pledge. We'll be saying this together. Three, four. I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of my God and my country. I will honor my parents, my teachers, my leaders, and my elders, and those in authority. I will be clean and honest in all my thoughts, my words, and my deeds. I will strive in everything I do to work together with my fellow men of every creed and race for the greater happiness of all and the honor and glory of my country. Great job. Now I need you to put your hands together Close your eyes and bow your head for us to say the school prayer. Are you ready? Three, four. Praise be to you, Almighty God, creator of the universe and all that is in it. We thank you, O Father, for the opportunity which you are giving us to increase our knowledge. May your divine grace enable us to study hard and use what we learn for the good of our fellow citizens. We pray that you will free us from selfishness, lust, greed, anger, and hatred. Warm our hearts with love, fill our minds with understanding, and strengthen our will in the face of difficulties. Help us, O oh Father, to make our beloved country of Trinidad and Tobago the kind of place you want it to be, a place where human dignity is respected where equal rights are accorded to all citizens, where hard work is encouraged and rewarded, and where you, O oh God, reign supreme. It's time for our good morning songs. You ready to go? Let's sing along. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody.
So we've been standing for a while. It's time to sit down, reach deep into your pockets, take out your listening ears, and prepare for current affairs and story time. Now, you have to listen very carefully because there will be questions after. All right, let's go. Hello boys and girls, I am Auntie Mary. Today we will be talking about social distancing. Boys and girls, what do you know about social distancing? Today we would call it physical distancing because it is important to remain social with your loved ones, to send a call or video chat or even write a note. Let me tell you why we need to understand social distancing. Germs are so tiny, you cannot see them with your eyes, but you can see them with the help of a strong microscope. These germs can make us sick if they enter our bodies. Sometimes we breathe them in. Other times we might touch our nose, mouth or eyes with unwashed hands that have touched a dirty surface. If someone near us has these germs, they might sneeze achoo, or cough and put germs into the air for us to breathe. Or they can spread germs by sneezing achoo, coughing <laughs> into their hand and then touching a surface of another person. If you touch someone who is sick or something with germs on it and then touch your eyes, nose or mouth, these germs can enter your body and make you sick. This is why hand washing is so important. You need to wash, wash, wash your hands, wash, wash, wash your hands. Sometimes. It is hard for people to tell if they have germs that make others sick. So that's one reason why we are all physical distancing. During this pandemic, doctors and scientists think it is best to stay away from most people so they cannot touch or cough on you. So, boys and girls, while you may not be able to spend time with your friends, you can still connect with your friends in new ways. Isn't that exciting? Hugging your friend might not be the best idea right now. You can still, as I told you before, video chat or call or write a note or write a letter. But great news, 
here are some new ways you can greet your friends from six feet. Are you ready? Now I want you to try these ideas, right? You could start at home and then, of course, you can do it with your friends, but from six feet. Good job. I know you all are listening. Give a peace sign. Isn't that cool? Give a big smile. Give a air hug. Give a two thumbs up. Say hello in sign language. Hold a hand to your heart. Give an air high five. Wave your hand and say hi. Give a wink. Blow a kiss. Give an air fist pump and raise the roof. You can greet from six feet safely by saying hello in all these safe ways. So we're going to say it again. Give a peace sign. Give a big smile. Give a air hug. Say hello in sign language. Pull a hand to your heart. Give an air high five. Wave your hands and say hi. Give a winky wink. Blow a kiss. Give an air fist pump and raise the roof. You can greet from six feet safely by saying hello in all these safe ways. So I hope you try this at home first so you will know how to give a greeting six feet away and stay safe. Hello boys and girls. Welcome to another story time with the ECCE division. I am Auntie Mary. Our story today is Dance, written by Pam Schiller. Audrey grabbed her toy guitar and smiled as her mommy helped her out of the car seat. They were stopping at Audrey's favorite spot for lunch. Audrey, Mommy said, you can take your guitar with you, but you can't play it inside. Do you understand? Audrey nodded. Inside, Audrey and her mommy waited their turn patiently behind the people who were placing their orders. Audrey's fingers tapped on the string of her guitar. But she didn't make a sound. The gentleman ahead of Audrey turned around and noticed Audrey standing quietly with her guitar. He asked, Hey little one, do you know how to play that thing? Audrey nodded. She remembered her mother's instruction. She looked up at her mother sheepishly and struck just one string. Bing! The man smiled and winked, then turned back around to pay for his sandwich. Audrey plucked the strings again and again. Bing, bing, bing. Her new friend turned back around with a big smile. He said, whoa, you can play that guitar. That is all Audrey needed in the way of permission. She started to strum her guitar with gusto. And when the gentleman widened his smile, she said, dance. Without hesitation, the man replied, well, I believe I will. He turned to his wife and extended his hand. Shall we? He asked. My pleasure, she replied. Audrey noticed the lady behind the cash register tapping her fingers on the counter. She nodded her head and said, Dance! A young couple entered the deli. Oh my! What's going on in here? Asked the lady. Audrey smiled and said, Yes, dance! And with this magic, the word the couple began was dance. 
Audrey strummed happily, and the joy spread through the deli. Everyone was clapping and tapping and spinning and twirling to the music created by a little girl and her pink guitar. Audrey stopped playing. Everyone cheered. Audrey walked over to one of the dancers and bent down to look at her shiny pink shoes. The lady said, "These are my new pink shoes." Audrey pointed to her pink guitar and said, "Match." The woman laughed. "Yes, my pink shoes match your guitar." Her husband got down on one knee and said, "You made my day, little one." This morning when I woke up, I had no idea what my day might hold. I didn't know I needed to put on my dancing shoes. You turned an ordinary day into an extraordinary day with one little word. Thank you for the dance. So boys and girls, I know you heard this wonderful story and it talks about dancing. Could you just stand up a bit and shake and then turn around and do a little dance, a wiggle or a jiggle? Good job. Now you can have your seat one more time. I have some questions for you. What was the name of the girl in the story? Yes, Audrey is her name. Good job, guys. You can give yourselves a big clap. Where was Audrey going? What was she going to do? Yes, Audrey was going to have lunch at her favorite spot. And I have another question. What is the color of her guitar? Come on. I think you have the answer. Good job, guys. Yes, the color of her guitar is pink but her mother warned her not to do what she could take something with her but she was not supposed to play it yes good job guys i see you are listening and i'm happy for that then she met a lady in the story and the lady was wearing what color shoes okay right correct she was wearing a pink shoes as well So since you answered all your questions, here's what you get an opportunity to dance. So let's dance, dance, dance. I hope you enjoyed story time with the ECCE division. Here are some fun ways to greet someone. Sing along and do them with me. How do you greet someone without touching? How do you show someone you care? From six feet. How do you show respect and love and give your best without spreading germs everywhere? It's really pretty cool. This is what you do. Give a peace sign. Give a peace sign. Give a big smile. Give a big smile. Give an air hug. Give an air hug. Give two thumbs up. Give two thumbs up. Say hello in sign language. Say hello in sign language. Hold a hand to your heart. Hold a hand to your heart. It's really pretty cool. This is what you do. Give an air high five. Give an air high five. Wave your hand and say hi. Wave your hand and say hi. Give a wink like this. Give a wink like this. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Give an air fist pump. Give an air fist pump. Raise the roof up. Raise the roof up. How far is six feet? Imagine this. It's a big dog, a little green frog, and a cute, friendly pig. How do you greet someone without touching? How do you show someone you care? From six feet. How do you show respect and love and give your best without spreading germs everywhere? Go on, greet someone without touching. Have fun. I hope you listened very carefully. 
Now you're going to do your individual activities for today. I will be back at 10.45 for stories and rhymes. Have a great activity session. Welcome back to the Leading Stars ECCE program. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Now, we're going to listen to a story. I hope you remember what to do when listening to a story. Do you remember? That's right. Listening ears. Here we go. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another story time with the ECCE division. I am Auntie Mary. I hope you are enjoying our stories. And today I have another exciting story for you. And the name of our story is Head, Heart and Hands, written by Ridhi Jop. My head is for wearing a hat or to tie up my hair into knots. My head is also there for kind and caring thoughts. Mummy says I must use my brain and before doing anything, I must think. My heart is so important. It makes my blood go round and round. But my heart is made up of more than just a loud beating sound. Daddy says it's important to use my heart and let my feelings show. Your heart can make you feel loved and you can make many others happy by telling them so. My heart is there so I know when someone is hurt or blue. Ouch! I can feel it in my heart. Can you feel it in yours too? My hands can do so much more than just wiggle and wiggle. I can use them to tickle my friends and make them giggle. My hands can help some younger, some older, some taller, someone smaller. I can help others and so can you. You can make your hands make a friend feel calmer too. Using your head, heart and hands together can help us grow up being kind, smart and strong. Mommy and Daddy say, it is easier to do the right thing than it is to do something wrong. Boys and girls, this was head, heart and hands. And all of these head, heart and hands begin with the letter. Yes, it begins with a letter. H. Good job. I didn't tell you that. So give yourselves a big high five. I'm proud of you. Okay, so here are my questions for you. What do we use our brains for? According to the story, it says, I use my brains to do what? Mm -hmm. Yes, I use my brain to think. What about your heart, guys? Yes, my heart is so important. It makes my blood go round and wrong but my heart is made up of more than just a loud beating sound can you put your hands on your heart boys and girls and listen to that sound or you can actually go to mommy or daddy your brother or sister what about grandma and grandpa you can go and listen to their hearts beat too now it's important according to the story to tell the people that you are wrong that you love them I think it's a good time to give mommy a hug and daddy because they are working so hard. So just give them a hug and show them, hey, mommy, daddy, I love you. According to the story again, you can use your hands to help someone who is younger than you. So if you have a baby brother or sister, you can help them do things. What about someone who is older? And that would be who? Yes, your grandma, or your grandfather, or your grandpa, or grandma, or ma, whatever you call them. Yes, you can help them too. And if you're tall, or if you're short, 
Still, you can help as well. I think it's important for you to remember this story and the message on the last page. Mommy and Daddy says it's easier to do the right thing than it is to do something wrong. Again, Mommy and Daddy says it is easier to do the right thing than it is to do something wrong. So boys and girls, you be good. And thank you for listening to Auntie Mary and Storytime with the ECCE Division. do it one more time. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, we're going to be having some fun with music, rhymes, and finger plays. Shake them till they're hot. All of a sudden, a one went pop. Four popcorn kernels sizzling in the pot. Four popcorn kernels sizzling in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them till they're hot. No sudden one went up three popcorn 
kernels, sizzling in the pot. Well, three popcorn kernels sizzling in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they're hot. When all of a sudden, one went pop. Two popcorn kernels sizzling in the pot. Two popcorn kernels sizzling in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they're hot. All of a sudden, one went pop. One popcorn kernel sizzling in the pot. One popcorn kernel sizzling in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. All of a sudden, one went pop. No, no more popcorn, popcorn kernels sizzling in, in the, the pot. pot. You listened very well. It's time for lunch. Before we eat, there's something that we must do. Who knows what it is we should do? That's right. We need to wash our hands with soap before we eat. Remember, lather your hands and wash between your fingers properly. I will be back at 12.30 for recall. Enjoy your lunch. Welcome back, boys and girls, to the Leading Stars ECC program. I hope you had a delicious lunch. We had a very fun day today. Can you remember what we did? Yes? Well, let's see. Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Mary again. I hope you had fun learning new things today. How was your individual activity? Did you enjoy seeing all your friends? I know you had to create a house. That must have been lots of fun. What materials did you use to build your house? Did you have your brown paper bag and your cereal boxes, your crayon, your glue, your Bristol board? I hope you had all your materials. You had to put in your house number. Learning numbers is so much fun. Can we sing a rhyme about numbers? Do you know one to buckle my shoe? I'm sure you do. So let's go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Let's try that again, boys and girls. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. That's one of my favorite nursery rhymes too. You also had to put in your street and buildings in your community. What is the name of the street you live on, boys and girls? Could you shout it out for me? Good job if you did it. I live at number 365 Sesame Street, 100 Acre Woods, Friendship Tongue. Do you want to hear that again? 365 Sesame Street, 100 Acre Woods, Friendship Tongue. We have lots and lots of fun up there. What about your physical activity? Oh, I love it. Today you had your dance party. Wasn't that loads of fun? Did you do it indoors or outdoors? I know wherever you did it, you had lots of fun. I love to dance. When I dance, I feel happy. I move my feet, I move my hand, 
I make right turns and left turns. Oh, how I love to dance. And I'm sure you enjoy dancing as well. Boys and girls, so continue having fun while learning new things. Boys and girls, let's end our day with some singing. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right hip in, you put your right hip out, you put your right hip in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your left hip in, you put your left hip out, you put your left hip in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your elbows in, you put your elbows out, you put your elbows in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You shake it all about, you shake it all about, that's what it's all about. The way we clean our teeth, clean our teeth, clean our teeth. This is the way we clean our teeth every night and morning. This is the way we brush our hair, brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair every night and morning. This is the way we have our bath, have our bath, have our bath. This is the way we have our bath every night.
that's it. We're finished for today. Join me again where we can have another fun-filled day of learning. Have a good afternoon, boys and girls, and stay safe. Wash your hands. Do 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 do. Wash your hands. Do 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 do. Wash your hands. Do 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 do. Wash your hands. Grab some soap. Do 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 do. Grab some soap. Do 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 do. Grab some soap. Do 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 do. Grab some soap. Rub your hands. Do 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 do. Rub your hands. Do 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 do. Rub your hands. Do 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 do. Rub your hands. Rinse your hands. Do 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 do. Rinse your hands. Do 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 do. Rinse your hands. Do 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 do. Rinse your hands. Dry your hands. Do 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 do. Dry your hands. Do 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 do. Dry your hands. Do 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 do. Dry your hands. What else can we do? Cover your sneeze. Do 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 do. Cover your sneeze. Do 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 do. Cover your sneeze. Do 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 do. Cover your sneeze. Pop into your elbow, do 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 do. Pop into your elbow, do 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 do. Pop into your elbow, do 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 do. Pop into your elbow.